Good morning. Welcome to day eight, Saturday, September 17th. You can probably see that there's, um, it's cold. It was, it is 23 degrees in the tent. I could tell last night that was getting super cold, like in the middle of the night. And, um, had to put, actually had to put socks on, which I usually never have to do, and uh, put the hat on, you know, 10, 12 degrees colder. This is the coldest night it's been. Oh, it's cold. <laughs> but man, what an amazing sky last night. Before the, the moon came out, the stars, this is like what I remember from the Sierras. There were just stars everywhere. It was, it was amazing. Um, it's taking extra longer for the coffee to get going this morning. Everything is just cold, but as soon as that sun comes out, as soon as the sun hits us, it'll be fine. So we just have to um, get through that. So I'm gonna have the first like half a cup of coffee just in the sleeping bag kind of um, get used to the warming up and then we'll start getting everything out of the tent and breaking down camp and um, hopefully at some point I can open up this vestibule it's got frost on it and uh, maybe get a really nice view of the sun coming over the ridge here but that's where we are Whew. Feels like winter and we're not there yet. <laughs> All right, day eight, Saturday, September 17th. We have broken down base camp. We first checked in this morning with you at about 6.30. It's now almost 8.30 and we're already warmed up to 49 degrees. So the temperature is pretty much doubled as soon as the sun came out. So that's the thing about this time of year. Um, in Colorado too, it's kind of like this where it's frost and it's super cold at night. But then as soon as that sun starts warming things up, it gets back to very comfortable hiking. So. We'll probably be in the mid 50s um, before you know it. So awesome. This was a great spot. I'm glad I decided to spend another night here. Um, just views of all the mountains I know. So it's pretty cool. And there's Williamson right there. And hopefully that's what we're gonna be going for tomorrow. Um, I know right before I got over Shepherd Pass, I feel like I still had like a bar or two with cell service. So I'm hoping once I get situated there, I can get some cell service and just check the, um, the weather forecast. Right now it looks great. So if it's like this tomorrow, that's awesome. Um, so yeah, I was hoping maybe we see some wildlife again, like the deer we saw at the stream uh, the other morning, but haven't seen anything and we're ready to get moving. So we're gonna put some tunes on and and start uh start heading back to Shepherd Pass. Good morning. It's Saturday morning around 8 30 a.m. and I woke up this morning and looked out the window and saw blue sky so I thought I need to get up so I brewed some coffee and I drove down to the lakefront let's see if I can yeah so there's a better view so the haze from yesterday it's it's still lingering in the background but it's much better today so I'm bundled up um but I think I'm gonna take a little drive and see if I can find somewhere to just like pull over and take in the view and hang out because I'm not sure if I'm actually parked in a legal place right now I think it's just like for boat launches um but yeah so I think this smoke's supposed to like come back in this afternoon so I don't think I'm gonna go on a big hike but maybe I can go on a, a little walk or something 
um, and we'll see what happens with the smoke um, today. Um, if it stayed as gross as yesterday, I was thinking of heading out early and going back down to Bishop tomorrow and just be a little bit closer to get Brian on Monday. So we'll see what happens. Just yesterday was like so gross. I was wearing my um, KN95 mask just outside because the smoke was so bad. So um, we'll see what happens today. I would love to get a hike in, but I just don't feel like with the current air quality and the unknown that I want to put my lungs through that. So we'll see um, how it goes, but let's go on a little car ride adventure in this morning. Day eight, we've been climbing, climbing from our campsite, getting close to the Bighorn Plateau. But man, we got expansive views of everything here. There's Mount Williamson. Just come over this way. Whitney and friends, and then scoop around here. Table Mountain. I think it's Milestone Midway Table. So all the mountains we were looking at all here. And then this is the Kawa Range over here. We saw a bunch of those too. Um, pretty sure this sandy guy here is Tawny Point. And we're almost reaching the top of the plateau and looking for our first uh, pack break, little breakfast. Just amazing these like trees, right? These barren trees alone out here. Some dead, some grown back. It's been really quiet, pretty spectacular morning in the Eastern Sierras. Making our way to the plateau and then to the Shepherd Pass Trail. Day 8 update, Saturday, it's about 10 in the morning, we passed a bunch of people on the JMT going the other opposite way we were going. Um, a lot of them really bundled up in puffy jackets and I think they had every layer on. It's funny how different people adapt to um, the temperature and plus they were climbing. so. Less layers and let that sweat breathe through for me, but to each their own. I think a lot of them were heading um, to Guitar Lake. So, probably see less people now that were off the PCT JMT and back on Shepherd Pass. And we'll just see uh, folks who are probably looking to tag Williamson or Tyndall for the most part. So, we got about three and a half miles. It's gonna be all uphill. So let's, let's go get it. So I drove up from South Lake Tahoe to Tahoe City, which is a very cute little town. I mean, there's part of me that wishes that I was staying up here, but it's much smaller and not as many food options. Um, it also helps that it's like a beautiful, clear day up here, but it's cold I got my this, or my scarf on. Um, but let's see if I can get this to, so, 
you can see a little bit that the smoke is coming in across here somewhere in South Lake Tahoe. So you can see that the haze is starting to come in. So I'm definitely glad I'm out and adventuring now before it settles in in the afternoon, which seems to be kind of what usually happens. So I'm gonna take a walk along the lake trail. Um, I got a latte um, and then I'll probably grab brunch on my way back. I've had a cute smoke that's on the way back. So I'll check it later. Day eight update. It's late morning. We've been climbing steadily Shepherd Pass, Shepherd Pass Trail. We're about 11,500 feet, taking a little break. And we got about a mile and a half to go that way before we're at um, where we're gonna camp. There's a, there is a wind. It's not too terrible. I'm like right on the border of putting on another layer, but I'm gonna try and wait until we get to camp when I'm not moving and then I'm gonna have to layer up probably. But right now the sun feels good and we're making our way uh, towards the pass. Day eight update. It's windy up here, it's almost noon. We're about a quarter mile from reaching Shepherd Pass. We came from all the way down there. And we got another great view. the most windbreak. This may be it. Mount Tyndall right there. What a great view. This some um, alpine lake right here. That's where we get our water. It's a chilly one up here with the wind. I have to put a windbreaker on and a fleece hat. Get camp set up and then maybe do a little exploring. So it's about 12.30 on Saturday and I was just driving back to South Lake Tahoe from Tahoe City where I walked around this morning and hung out there and I pulled over to State Park Beach. So I was gonna like sit in my chair but they had these great picnic tables so I'm just sitting at a picnic table but the wind just started, pick the wind just picked up. So I had to layer up but it's still nice. I'll sit here for a little while longer. Maybe I'll do some knitting, but just relax and enjoy an afternoon or a few hours without the smoke. But the haziness is returning. So we'll see how it gets as bad as it was yesterday. Looks 
like there's a couple of unnamed lakes in an area called Diamond Mesa and also uh, Forrester Pass is somewhere over here. So this wind is brutal. Um, but I just want to stretch the legs a little bit more. I don't want to do too much today. Like I thought about doing Tyndall, but with this wind, no thanks. I want to save my strength tomorrow. So if I'm feeling good, I'll go. I mean, the um, I want to go for miles, but I have the conditions. I might choose that and just go for Tyndall or not go for either one. And head on down until I get a kid. bigger body of water more like a little lake size not named but let's go check it out and this um this shelf here i'm wondering if forester pass is on the other side of that or if that well that's it's probably on the other side of that but maybe we'll get a better view of what's going on with that that looks looks pretty cool as well Day eight, off trail exploring. Check this out. We're not at the lake I'm looking for yet, but these two lakes right down here just came into view. They're um, just due east of Diamond Mesa on the Topo map. Unnamed lakes, high up there. And I think once we get over this, maybe I'll come along. 
along. And I think maybe Lucky will get a view. <laughs> wah, wah, not quite yet. Almost shot to go over. So, I'll come back in a little bit. All right, we're at about 12,500 feet. That is Junction Peak right there. And hopefully, this is the last ledge before we see that remote, unnamed lake. Looks like it's going into a bowl. That's a good sign. Oh, baby. Here it comes. <laughs> Just amazing. Look at this. How does this lake not have a name? It's incredible. How many people even have been here? So, over that ridge are some um, other unnamed lakes. We're not going there. And then keep going that way and you hit the JMT. And then Forrester Pass is somewhere behind all that. Um, but yeah, wow. Just amazing. Rocks just randomly scattered here. Looks like maybe back in the day. It's a very rocky beach, but I figured. <laughs> Came all the way here. The least I could do is just dip my hand in this. Base camp. All right, here we go. Woo! We made it. It was worth it. Awesome views. Awesome little side adventure. I can still see Williamson and Tyndall in the background because they're so big. So we're gonna start making our way back, back to base camp rest up for tomorrow. Wow, day eight. We had a little uh, extra adventure. We had our tent set up. Didn't want to go for Tyndall. What wasn't I'm gonna have fresh legs for Williamson tomorrow. But we just went off trail. It was awesome. Off trail, hit some um, hit some unnamed lakes, hit one in particular. Pretty cool to check out. And then um, I noticed when I first got here, I don't know if I mentioned it, I went like over to the pass and I had like one bar of service um, to get like text messages. So on the way down from my little uh, adventure, I just like hung the, uh, hugged more of the ridge line uh, near the pass, even higher up. And I got three bars of service, which was awesome. So I was able to check in with Sarah, uh, see how everything's going there. Had a, a little text from uh, Bobby, which was good. And, uh, but it was so windy, like I was kind of trying to shield myself from the wind um, while I was checking messages. Um, so I didn't stay there too long. Now I'm in the tent. And now that the wind is like cut from the tent, it just feels nice. Nice right now. It's a little warm. The sun is still hitting the tent. It feels like it's going to be another cold one tonight, which is fine. It's just more so in the morning, getting up and getting going 
because they want to get an early start for Williamson. So I was going to set an alarm for six. Sunset's getting a little earlier every night. It's uh, sunset is officially happening before seven now. Um, wow. So I think when we first started backpacking, it was still light out until nine. So what a difference. Um, see, everything's good. Um, going to crack open a beer just to lighten the load. Um, and I'm definitely going to have some warm beverages with dinner. Uh, so that's it for now. That might be the last recap until, uh, we see you in the morning. So pretty amazing view from the tent. I'm sure the video doesn't do it justice, but I've got Mount Tyndall and I've got our Alpine Lake right here to keep me company. You can see it's pretty windy here. Um, but for right now, this is, this is great. <laughs> I'm gonna crack open a beer, have some cheese and pepperoni, and just uh, plan for an, hopefully an early bedtime so I can get up early. So just for some perspective, this is where we're camped at, Shepherd Pass, um, Mount Williamson is where we hope to go tomorrow. Mount Tyndall which is right next to Williamson, right here. So we're seeing Tyndall right from our camp at Shepherd Pass, it's right there. And the little off-trail venture we did today, we just left camp and just crossed on the other side of the trail and made our way up to this little lake, but there was actually like three little lakes and then made our way up to this lake that's unnamed at about 12,500 feet. And then while we were up there, we saw these two lakes. Um, we got to the, there was a little chute that looked like it probably would have gone a gully, but I didn't want to like go crazy. It would have been cool to see the other side and see the lakes and see uh, the trail and possibly see Forrester Pass. Uh, we also saw Junction Peak while we were up there. So that's kind of, the area we're uh, we're in, it's one of my favorite places, and that's that.